St. Lucie County's water quality staff continues to work with contractors to conduct swale maintenance as we head into the rainy season. Lakewood Park residents will see crews digging on the south end of Eastwood Drive, while Indian River Estates residents will see crews near Rain Tree Trail and Spruce Drive. Work will also be done this month along Carroll Noon Lane in the western part of the county near Header Canal. The swale work is being funded through the Stormwater MSTU dollars with a $1 million operating budget for this fiscal year. The main contractor for these projects is Environmental Land Development. In early December of 2021, a large metal pipe located on Picos Road near the intersection of Kings Highway failed, causing the immediate closure of the road. An emergency procedure was authorized to replace and reconstruct the failed culvert. Haley Engineering Contractors, Inc., FDOT's contractor on the Kings Highway widening project, was awarded the contract to perform the work to help expedite the project, since the vendor was already mobilized on site. The culvert replacement work was subcontracted to a local contractor, Johnson Davis, Inc. The failed pipe culvert has been removed and replaced. The flow of the C-40 canal is partially restored, while the contractor is currently working on establishing the C-40 canal slopes. The construction of the roadway over the pipe will commence soon. Picos Road is expected to reopen to traffic this month, and the final completion of the project is scheduled for the middle of July. Crews will also be working on an emergency culvert failure at the intersection of Sunset Boulevard and Savannah Street. These failures began to manifest on the roadway pavement surface and continue to put travelers at risk. Under an emergency order, the public works staff is proceeding to negotiate the construction costs with Johnson Davis, Inc., a local contractor, and Artiman and Associates, Inc. for the field testing services. This project is expected to begin later this month. A $1 million roadway improvement project has begun on Seminole Road for the installation of guardrails and millings as part of the county's effort to reduce maintenance costs and improve safety. The two-and-a-half-mile project from Indria Road to Amokali Road will include the realignment of the road with drainage and utility modifications. The project should be completed by August 2022. Contractors performing the work are TSI and South Florida Land Clearing. Work is wrapped up on the replacement of the last wooden vehicle bridge in St. Lucie County. The public works staff has replaced the 33-year-old wooden bridge over 10 Mile Creek on Gordy Road recently. Funded by the voter-approved half-cent sales tax, this $2.4 million project was completed a month ahead of schedule and under budget. FDOT deemed St. Lucie County's last wooden bridge structurally deficient in 2017 following damage from Hurricane Irma and other natural breakdowns that typically occur with timber bridges. The new single-lane concrete bridge is two feet higher than the old bridge to, to prevent water from overflowing into the deck. The new bridge, which is expected to last 100 years, includes a sidewalk for pedestrians and bicyclists and no longer has weight restrictions.